Nandu Kano started this, Kemi Olonoyo defaults IPOP leader for Tinubu's death rumor. Recently, there have been negative rumors about the health of APC national leader Bola Ahmed Tinubu. This was after his notice absence during Buhari's visit to Lagos. This rumor became more intense as many claimed the politicians had passed, had passed away. Although Chief Bola Ahmed Tinubu had cleared people's doubts as he, had, as he returned to Nigeria from France a few days ago, Kemi Olonoyo had uh, however reacted to the claims. She faulted IPOB leader Nambi Kano for the viral rumor. Enam Dikanu started this rumor with a very viral tweet. He needs to stop death rumors. She wrote this on her Facebook page. Um, Buhari and Tinubu are alive. Hashtag be focused on 21 and work on how you can help fix Nigeria in this last two years. All right. So people responding to this have opposed Kemio Lunoyo's allegation about Enam Dikanu and here are a few comments about this. Somebody says, did he say Tinubu was dead? Fact check Dr. T um, Dr. Kemi. It is a doctor? Oh, before um, coming public. Someone says, what has come over you these days, madam? Nobody can trust your news. <laughs> Not Nigerians attacking this woman. <laughs> um, that story started from Sahara News, not from Nam Dukano. Um, Check well. Um, I think, yeah, because honestly, it's a bit... Mm. Yeah. Well, fake news is affecting our society negatively as a Nigerian. We must stop spreading unverified reports, especially those involving the death of an individual. Um, again, I listen. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I really don't understand. Again, of course, you know, fake news is an issue. Again, we cannot, you know, detest or argue against that. Um, but then again, it's like, I don't even know. I know it was, the news was trending, but I don't think Inamri Kano was the first person to do that. Because again, I, I, yeah, I think the whole place would have been shaken up. I mean, again, it's, it's, I think it's just too much. Back to back, already had TB Joshua and then Inamri, um no, and then Tinubu. I think that's going to be a lot. Um, Yeah, that's it. A lot of people now came for this woman. Well, again, Kemi Olonia is a person that has, in being, she's been involved in a lot of, things well, how i say it? a lot of messiness a lot of drama um and you just it's just that's it uh someone says both of you have started similar behavior when it comes to spreading fake and unconfirmed news all right um kemi you have started again again as i've said she's always involved in some drama or the other just in, in, well, is it she she's setting herself is she a blogger is she a doctor what is she we don't know well i don't know if you know what she's this put in the comment section below uh somebody here says um, she's not hale and hearty, as you said. I have seen Tinubu recent photos. Something is wrong with his health. Again, you know, he in public spaces they have been mishaps that further this rumor. For example, with you know making crucial big mistakes by reading out things wrong on a, a pre-written speech, um, as well as him, is this stumbling or he tripped or something, and his eyes and the um his gait, as well as his his mannerisms and the way he talks is very much slow and very much detached um so again these sort of things that have happened publicly actually uh further these rumors and of course you know nigerians are like oof well things are making sense but again you can't you can't as this person has said you can't really come and say that the man is as healthy as he should be i mean who who's as old as him in nigeria i mean even Buhari looks low-key better than him, to be honest. I mean, that's my opinion. I'm mean, again, I have no facts to back this point, but, but that's what it is. Um, somebody here says, "Old fool, you man that has no work." <laughs> again, I don't know why she's involving herself in this. I guess it's just what she does. I mean, she's part of the drama, I guess you'd say. Um, but there's literally no point. I mean, there's literally no point. I mean, the man is not dead, so the man is not dead. That's it. The news ends there. But. I guess this highlights issues of, first of all, fake news spreading so, so fast. Um, and how Nigerians have reacted to it. As well as Kemi Olonoyo inserting herself into this. Um, by not just inserting herself and commenting on the issue. She now drags Enam Kanu, In which, again, Enam Kanu does not want to back down from, you know, a challenge or a false accusation. There might be a reply or a rebuttal. Whatever it is, there might be a reply. And, um... Yeah, that's just that's just what it is. Uh, somebody here says, "Oh my God, please 
make me be like Nam Zaka Maz Nam Dekano, uh the only man that can speak uh only a word with the use of machine guns, fighter jets. Okay. That's a bit extra. Someone says Ken Melonio is begging Kanu for friendship. <laughs> Alright. Um but then how is she doing that though? She's I mean, I guess I guess it's funny and sarcastic. But um accusing him is not really the way to go. Again, she didn't again that's the thing. You are sort of promoting what or you're you're promoting what you condemn. In terms of she's saying, okay, fine, in Abdul Kanu, you started fake news. But then you yourself you have not proven how in Abdul Kanu is, is guilty of spreading the fake news in the first place. That's the real question. Uh somebody here says she has never mentioned Ibuho's name, wretched woman. Oof. Again, this woman, again, I don't know. The public perception of her is not necessarily a good one. Um, people have opinions or whatever. They will always have opinions. Uh, but I think when it comes to her, she's just been involved from politicians to celebrities. Sometimes it seems like as if she's... It's just not a good vibe. The reception that Nigerians or the perception of her... Um, in the in the eyes or in the minds of Nigerians, it's not a positive one, and it's just like, why are you involving yourself? Why are you involving yourself? And again, you're involving yourself with something in which you don't even have the true facts for, and you're condemning somebody else for not for spreading rumors in which they do not have the full fact for. So again, I again, this conversation gets tiring. It really does get tiring because it's like, then what is what is going on? What is really really going on? Uh, somebody here says. Madame Kemi should be seen as a fake woman who always gives fake news. Again, with her brand, I'm going to use the word brand because I don't know what else to use with her because I don't know what she does. Um, with her brand, it's never, right now, I don't think it's more of a trusted brand. Like, I don't think it's, I don't think Nigerians would trust and say, okay, fine, she says something, we'll believe it. Uh-uh. Because of how involved she is in drama every single time, she's just, I don't know unreliable i guess for some people i mean sometimes you might be right but it's just the vim and passion in which she says so i mean i don't even know a lot about this woman but i just think it's just a bit it's just a bit problematic uh and again in the comment section here people are going at her they're coming for her neck that's it uh someone says why all the abuses why it can be you need to pretend it superdent power for those that understand stop all these accusations and uh mazi inamdi kanu never said so uh someone says her comments can make impact if she didn't mention inamdi kanu old crook but then it's like oh yeah true just coming for the fact stop spreading false messages that's it but what you think and don't forget to like and subscribe